Apple was hit with nearly a $2 billion lawsuit. Yep. Well, actually a fine. Excuse me. Let me not misspeak. That's why we got the specs on so we could read. It says here, Apple hit with nearly $2 billion fine in Europe over music streaming apps. Shame on them for that. It says here, the European Union has imposed nearly $2 billion in fines on Apple, marking a significant move by the EU's antitrust authority against the tech giant. This decision stems from a lengthy investigation into Apple's app store practices, specifically regarding the distribution of music streaming apps. The European Commission found that Apple had set unfair rules for developers effectively limiting their ability to inform users about alternative subscription methods outside of the Apple ecosystem. Basically, forget about all those other apps, rock with us and nobody else. That's pretty foul. Pretty foul of Apple to do that. And I'm glad the European Union is sticking it to Apple again. For those who don't know, the European Union has been smacking Apple around for a while now. They also made them change their devices in the UK, I want to say, uh, because they didn't accept US, USB-C. And they said, nah, we're not, we not buying just one wire for one device. Everything has USB-C. Y'all need to change y'all shit to USB-C. And so Apple has been having a lot of problems across the pond uh, over there on the European side of things. Europe, UK. All of those nations, they're they're pretty angry with Apple. They're sick of their shit. They're sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know what I'm saying? And so Apple is getting smacked around. And I'm happy about it. I got to be honest. Why are y'all doing that? Why got to make it where only your wire, only your device takes this one wire? Everything takes USB seed and play ball, man. Listen, I know that's what Steve Jobs made famous. But Steve Jobs been gone and the game has changed. Sometimes you got to change with the game. And so Apple has to acquiesce to these things. And also Apple, yeah, we know the, the iTunes store and iTunes music was the original for a lot of this stuff. But the game has changed. Now you got Spotify. Napster is actually legal and has their own streaming platform. You got Amazon Music. There's all of these other apps that are available. And you can't shun these apps and simply just say like, nah, sorry. We're not going to let you download any of their stuff. We're going to make sure our stuff is always in the front, always in front of your face. And we're going to push their stuff way down to the bottom and make it hard to find. I think that's pretty foul for them to do. And so I'm glad that Apple's getting a little pow pow. You know what I'm saying? Glad they're getting a little slap on the wrist. $2 billion in fines is actually not a slap on the wrist. That's a hefty fine. But uh, we know Apple's got it. So they'll pay their fine and who knows what they'll do. But if it probably behooves them to make these changes and stop shunning the other apps uh, because there are plenty of other music streaming apps available today. And uh, it's just not a nice way to play the game, man. You got to be fair. At least a little. You know, you got to make it a level playing field. 60-40 at least. You know what I'm saying? Can't just be hogging all the glory and all the time and all the charts, you know, just up there by yourself. Just like, yeah, nah, only our shit. Fuck everybody else. No bueno. It's not a good look. And so that's that. Apple's in trouble. And I'm happy about it. Android users unite. Android users rejoice. <laughs> a little bit of hateration today. Getting my hate off on Apple because of their bad behavior being called out in Europe. And, uh... I mean, this is not the first one, like I said. So let's see what they do. Maybe Apple will start making more changes. So they got to pay less fines because, listen, companies care most about their bottom line. Let's be honest. That's what they care about. And so if their bottom line continues to be affected, then perhaps Apple will continue to, well, will start making changes and will not just simply continue to fuck around with everybody else because it seems like that's what they're doing, both with their consumers and the other people on the Apple developer side of things, the Apple platforms, you know, putting together their Apple apps. And uh, as you can see, Android, we're having absolutely no problems uh, with that currently. 